Lily is a great game. It was actually featured at Apple's keynote event. This game was specifically designed for the iPhone 5 itself and it looks great on the wide screen. The great screen actually shows all the different things that are happening around you. Now in a game such as Lily that is so focused on some of the background, all the ambiance of the actual levels themselves, it works amazing with the widescreen so you can see absolutely everything that's going on at the same time. Basically the story is that Lily is looking for different plant life on an island when she comes across the locals, the not so friendly spirits and the other local townsmen who are oppressed by the spirits. Now she finds out that she has a secret gift and she can actually destroy the spirits by plucking the flowers out of their backs. This seems kind of weird, not really the common type of RPG game, but it's actually fun and it makes more sense when you're playing it than it does um, just listening to it. But I recommend checking it out because it is a good game overall. It has stunning graphics, 3D visuals, innovative controls, RPG, and it's got great puzzles and awesome dialogue. Now the one downside I have to this app is that it is not um, actually like dubbed over. There's no sound, there's no real talking, there's some different noises, but there's no real talking. You have to read all the text bubbles, which kind of gets boring after a while. Um, but if you like that kind of thing, then it is still pretty good as well. And But the visuals definitely make up for it. The price is kind of high at $5, but it's not that high. And I recommend checking it out. Don't forget to watch all the other 10 games that are iPhone 5 optimized. It's really sweet. Once again, guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Alfred from Mapfine. I'll see you guys later. Bye.